everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today I'm going to be playing with the final look that I'll be using this palette for, and it's the ColourPop Muppet uh, Collection, the Christmas Collection. And I've done two looks so far, but I wanted to really do this third look because it's with the greens. These brushes just don't want to hold still. There we go. So it's with this row right here, this green row. These shades, I mean, they're just special. Like, they're not anything unordinary or anything but like they pop I guess I shouldn't say special they they pop and I just am curious to see how much they pop you know what I mean and then because so far this collection is like kind of eh to be honest the super shock shadows you know so far weren't what I thought or not what I thought they weren't as good as I thought or as good as they used to be or maybe I just built them up so big in my head that it just wasn't it you know so let's go ahead and start the first thing I'm gonna go into is this green right here and it's called frazzled and we are gonna start with that actually you know what I lied before I was even filming and forgot I actually did set my eye with this holiday party time this like it's pretty much like skin tone to be honest color and like this lime green is so pretty but it's only pretty in the sense of like if I packed it on like on the lower lash line or something without blending it out because when you blend this out it doesn't look like it does in the pan let's be honest you know and I guess I really didn't think about that just you know so much when I was doing this look I mean I do like the way this look turned out don't get me wrong it is kind of cute but is it something that I like so much that I'm gonna pull for this palette again no it's not out of all the shades now that I've played with let's do it like this out of all the shades that I've played with this mat here and this one are my two favorite mats. Well, I don't even mind that one, actually. And then as far as, like, the metallic shades, I mean, this one's not bad. Of course, it's just the champagne. The Meep Meep's not bad. That's That Stunt Santa's not bad. Like, there's just a couple. You know what I mean? And glitter shades have never, anything like that, had just never had been my favorite so to say you know sometimes I'm in the mood for them but most of the time not so much to be honest and I just thought like the packaging and everything is stunning and I guess if you like the formulas and the color story then the palette is good because it is everything is very good as far as that goes if you like it it's just a question of do you like that formula and stuff okay the next shade i'm going to go into is being green and i'm basically just going to put that right below that shade we're just building it up but yeah this palette i just thought was gonna I guess in my head I thought it was gonna be something I could use like every day and it could but it's not is it a fun palette yeah it is it is fun and I do think that you know depending on who you are it'd be great teenagers you know young but for someone like me who is you know just almost kind of creating like everyday looks for the most part but you, you, in quotations everyday looks because you know everybody's definition of everyday is different but I guess neutral looks more neutral looks but yeah I do like color too certain colors but mm, yeah, this palette just doesn't serve the purpose for me and that's okay I mean, it's okay that it doesn't. It sucks that I paid for it, but, you know, hey. We live, we learn. Some of us. 
I don't. I'm not going to even pretend like I do. Especially like right now. I just want to like go and spend money on absolutely nothing just because I hurt so bad. <laughs> I'm like it makes me feel better though. No, I don't. It does make me feel good though when I create a look that I really do like. It kind of like picks up my spirits a little bit. I won't deny that. And in, honestly, in a way, this palette did pick my spirits up. Like, it is kind of a bright, colorful look, you know? It's not bad by no means at all. Alright, let's go into... I'm going to go into this color, Be Cool. And we're just going to smudge it along the lower lash line. I didn't want to go for like all green look. I wanted to throw something in there a little bit. But then after I did throw this color in, I didn't like it. So I ended up doing something else here in a minute. But in a way, I thought it would work. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. All right. And then for the waterline, let me go ahead and tell you, I went ahead and used the Marc Jacobs, the orange one. I'm trying to use up all of those Marc Jacobs liners that I have, because obviously you can't get them no more and they're gonna go bad. So, for my lid, I'm going to put the shade Yay, Super Chalk Shadow, the green one. And I will say, out of the Super Shock colors, this one definitely held the most pigment. And it did remind me of what the Super Shock Shadow is supposed to be. <laughs> just don't think the other two did it for me I really don't and that's okay if you know if you liked it but it just didn't for me but this shade does I will say that this shade is a very pretty green and it's metallic shiny like it's everything easy to use like it's everything that I expect a super shock shadow to be that I can recall you know the other two just didn't it wasn't umph enough I guess <laughs> for lack of a better word because I can't think of a better word at this moment in time you know Okay, perfect. Then, for inner corner, I just used my highlighter. Because I just, I didn't want to put a glitter in my, that, you, I would have used Icy Patch, but it's like a glitter and I just didn't want that today. So the highlighter that I used is what I put in my inner corner for today. And it actually did work with this look. So, that worked for me, you know what I mean? And, you know, I just find that I, I don't mind doing that. It's not my favorite thing to do. But I also don't mind using my highlighter as part of the look. And then the last thing I'm going to do as far as the eyeshadow part is take this Celebrate and Style the Darkest Shade right here. And I'm just going to line the top lash line and the bottom lash line. But we'll start with the bottom lash line because I'll have to blend it out better than I don't blend the top. I just stamp it in there. Let 
and then I'll use the Be Cool shade that I did use to blend with. There we go. And then just line the top lash line. And again, I'm just pushing it up in there. Like I said, this is one of my favorite colors in this palette. And I don't know why, because it's just... Uh, you know, a matte, but the tone of it, like everything with it, I really, really like for some reason. Don't know why, though. Have you ever been like that? Like, you just don't know why you like something, but you know you like it. Like, I know this is good shade. All right, there we go. So that's all I'm gonna use for the palette sake. And then for top lash line, we're gonna go into the Superhero by It Cosmetics for the lashes. And overall, I think this is a really pretty look. And it is different than what I'm used to wearing too. But I don't, I don't think the palette, like if you missed it, you're good. Don't worry about it, you know? It's not like it's like, oh my goodness, I, you, you, best palette in the world type thing. No. The best part about the palette is truly the packaging. But at the same time, it is worth your money because the formula is good in it. And then for the bottom lashes, of course, Lancome, Def and Seals. And then we're done. I will say that I kind of, not that I like being hurt, but it does make me move super duper fast. Of course, I can't do the looks that I really want to do. Because with looks I want to do, it's like I really do have to take my time. But at least they're shorter. And I'm not boring you or taking up tons of your time. I mean, not that I ever mean to take up time. I just really want to show you how the stuff works for a beginner, you know? Because I have definitely wasted a lot of my money because I am a beginner with people saying stuff's good. And it is good. 
but not for beginners. That's the problem. All right. So this is the final look. I can now put this palette to rest. As far as the four super shock shadows, this one is the best and the only one that I think performs. Um, I don't like the glitter, whatever that was, that gel, glitter gel. And what else was there? That and this. And then the palette, right? pretty sure that's all that came in the collection so again the palette the formula in it packaging is adorable cute everything it is what that is open it up inside is what it is inside again it's cute I love love that and then if the palette speaks to you then it's worth it you know as far as packaging is it worth it for me because the only thing yeah 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 it is because I do I really do enjoy the packaging of this but, and I, there's a couple colors too, but overall, probably not. But at the same time, you know, I don't regret buying it, but I definitely would highly suggest really think about it, you know, because I don't want you to waste your hard-earned money. Me, I'm just, you know, I'm wasting my boyfriend's money. <laughs> you know, so I'm good, but. That is all I have for you today. I hope this video helped in some way, shape, or form. I'll move on now. I'm sure everybody's bored of seeing this palette for sure. Because I have done three looks with it, you know. But at least it's thorough, you know. But overall, the first look I really liked. This look is okay. The, the last look I did, the second look, I didn't really care for it that much. But there were some shadows that I did enjoy as far as color then there were some shadows I did not so but that's all I have um give this video a thumbs up if you don't care subscribe ring the bell hit all that way you're notified when I do upload I upload every day but Sunday and as soon as this goes away I will try to do you know more colorful looks and stuff where I can sit here and really do a nicer look um again just from a beginner's point of view but I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.